Yay! Hey. Hey. The White House. The Jarvie. The spin. The introduction to the video. A Church for Faith in America project. And I photographed a hotel for my main sponsor, Reservation Counter. Ta-da! Lots already done, and it's not even 7 a.m., is it? I don't know. In any case, it's like, I want to go take pictures of the White House over there, because I guess it's hey, an important building. what are you doing? I don't have it once, I'll say it a hundred times. Or whatever the expression is. If you want to photograph buildings in cities, or you want to photograph just things without cars in front of them, and not a billion people walking around, you gotta be on Sunday mornings. Saturday mornings too, to some extent as well. Two Just as getting well. a few more churches this morning. Getting DC marked off, so it's 50 states plus one district. Ta-da. Ta-da. Yay, Ronnie. What's it's up? been a long time. It's yeah. so weird to like, <laughs> randomly come across you guys in DC. I know, it's uh, we've just been here in town uh, filming our own little video here for a kid's birthday. Ah, nice. Parkour. It's fun. Well, cool. Yeah. I have like 30 minutes, so we're gonna do a few pictures. Yeah. See if that goes up on the thumbnail. All right, That's all. let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wanna do a couple pictures before I head off to church, and it's a pretty cool little park here. And you stayed in the Marriott. Hi, Roland. Oh yeah. That's <laughs> nice. That's cool. And Zeb, what's the name of your channel? Visibility Zero. Visibility Zero. Got a production company. Full time in it now. Yes. Yes. And you've been doing full time for a while, right? Yeah, about uh, two years. Two years. Yep. So if you guys watch Devin Graham, you may recognize him. You've been in like, you've been yeah. in some of the ones that get like 10 million views. Yeah, I've done a few of his Assassin's Creed parkour videos yeah. and, uh, and other ones like Mario Brothers parkour, Spider-Man parkour on my own channel, you know, Sweet. things like that. Name's Ronnie Street Stunts on YouTube, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Links below. Ronnie doing a backflip. It's so hard to do pictures or the video with like the action. So at least you guys get to see the cool action. My job is a little harder, but Zeb's gonna film for us because he's Woo. professional. Woo. Notice how much better this video is going to be now with Zeb filming. All right. Better to look. A lot better. <laughs> the backflip's the way to go. Yeah. Can we do it one more time? Yeah. I want to get you further in the air. Further in the air is me at my job. <laughs> Laying down at my job. That's gonna be the thumbnail, dudes and dudettes. Yeah. That's cool. I'm glad you were in town. I had nothing to do between sunrise and church. <laughs> hey, look what I found. Just driving past on my way to church. Saw that building and I have no clue what it is. Is it an embassy? Is it a religious? I sure hope it's a religious building because it'll be a great addition. I mean, it's too bad for those little caution signs on there. It is a difficult building to photograph except for the top part. That was pretty neat and easy. So, do I look all right? That was fun running into Ronnie, huh? He does he does those tricks all day long. It's pretty cool. He's telling me about, I mean, we just had a chat about YouTube and Patreon, and I gotta put my seatbelt on. Bye. Oh, look at that. I totally remember this church. I took awesome shots of it last time I was here. Cool ceiling inside of that one. Really neat. Russian Orthodox. Cool story about that one is that they built that church in like the 50s and 60s, you know? That's 50s, think about that. DC in the 50s. Think about it. Russian Orthodox. Here's the Greek Orthodox and then there's the, the National Cathedral behind it. 
All right, you need to see the National Cathedral. There it is. Pretty cool stuff. Just driving around town. It's not exciting, I know. But I'm gonna be exciting. I'm not. I'm just gonna go to church. See you in a few hours. I may or may not have eaten four slices of pie. Church pie. Yay. All right, it's time for some sunset stuff here in the monuments. We're gonna go over, we're gonna go, we, because I'm with someone else. Every single day, huh? Like I seem to be meeting up with someone every That's day. That's awesome though. But I, you know, first time meeting. Yes. My new friend. Hi everyone, Angela. Angela. Yes. She does landscape photography full time mm -hmm. and has a puppy, but we're going into a cemetery, so pretty sure. I don't think he's allowed there. Yeah. So we're gonna meet up with Matthew and he's gonna come, hopefully, because we're gonna leave our cars here and, and book it. And then I'm taking pictures of her and she loves it. She's like, oh, more, <laughs> no. right? So awkward, I'm used to being- a Awkward, you're not around. supposed to say that. You're supposed sorry, to say, sorry. he makes me feel so comfortable I and confident. So pretty, too. so pretty around Jarby. <laughs> Everyone's like, ooh, I like that tree. Let's get you with that tree. That's, that's what I warned her. I said, if you're gonna come hang out with me, I must warn you. This is what's probably going to happen. And it's happening. Yeah, go stand up on the block. <laughs> Are you going to film me going up? Sure, <laughs> just in case you fall. Oh, Rebel, what are you doing? Hell yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Look at over there. Isn't that awesome? Beautiful? <sighs> I mean, not. All the people that died, that's not beautiful. That is, I mean, it is a beautiful display of valor and courage. Uh, a sad display of, of governance. Uh, but the trees, let's focus on the trees. And I guess we should ask the question, who's served, who served in the military? Who's, who, did anyone's dad, I mean, they fascinate me for as much as plain. For as much as I despise war, uh, I am fascinated by like World War One, World War Two. Never got way into like Civil War because that's just—I mean, we fought each other. That's just really sad. Uh, but I've been really fascinated. I watched those shows about World War One and Two. And it's like I'm not into fighting. I've actually never fought anyone. Never had a fight. My, 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 me and my sisters never even fought growing up. I didn't have a brother to fight with either. Oh my gosh, look at this. But the question is, who do, has anyone, parents or whatever, been in the military? That'd be interesting. And uh, yeah, that's all I got to ask. <laughs> I've got to take pictures. Bye bye now. It is beautiful. This is, I don't know, I'm conflicted. I want you guys to tell me what you think. You come out here. Have you ever been to Ar Arlington Cemetery? Arlington National Cemetery? If you've ever been here, how did it make you feel? Do you, are you like, I'm so proud of my country? Or are you like, I'm sad for my country that we did this? That we, I don't know. Or are you conflicted like me? I see a lot of valor and courage, but also... Uh, you know what I mean, right? We can't just be such zealous patriots, jingoists, that we can't think through these things and separate, you know, their awesome deeds, like their awesome heroism in many cases, with the fact that this all happened. I don't know. What do you think? I mean, I'm not like some sort of scholar or philosopher on this whole subject. I'm just trying to put, wrap my brain around it now. I'm definitely, um, I don't like war. <laughs> and I've read and listened to a lot by Dan Carlin. That's my suggestion for today. If you ever have a chance, listen to Hardcore History by Dan Carlin. He's doing a series on World War I and it just makes you cringe sometimes uh, about the barbarity, the cr oh, it just was so, 
we think about it sometimes do you do you look back at it and like what do you call it when you're like glorifying the past just because it's the past or you're only looking at those good things and not taking it all in I don't know what I'm trying to say but it's just walking through this it is an impressive sight but perhaps part of me could think it's kind of a impressively sad sight. Look at this. I mean, it just goes on for ever. It's crazy. But at least there's beautiful colors. And uh, cemeteries, are, cemeteries are difficult for me to photograph. They really are. It's just like, what is, what do I photograph? Like, which headstone? There's a million. Maybe that big one. That's all, you know, give me something good. So give me something to focus on. That one. Let's try to focus on that for a second. Okay, excuse well, me. Well, 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 well. This sunset doesn't suck. Definitely Look at that. Better. Yeah, you liking it? I thought it would. Yeah? You were like, oh my gosh, what is this Jarvie doing? Why are we out here? Why are we out here? I got some pretty pictures of her. That was good. Oh, I'm not supposed to yell in the cemetery. Whoops. And they haven't kicked us out yet either, so we got because it's past five. We're breaking the law, breaking the law. But the, there's not really a fence that really keeps us in, really. Four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation conceived in liberty and dedicated to the pros proposition that all men are created equal. Now we are engaged in photography. Yep, that's what we're doing now. Hey, we met up with another person. You can't see him. Does, do you watch the videos? That's right. You, he's a patron. So we're doing patron portraits. Isn't that fun? Are you so excited for your portrait? I was excited beyond belief. 